Hey everybody, welcome to Crazy Tech Lab and today AMD has announced its brand new RDNA 3 graphics cards, the RX 7900 XT and the new flagship, the RX 7900 XT. So super, super exciting announcement from AMD today and we are going to be going through the specifications, pricing and availability really, really quickly in this video as well as looking at some Nice eye candy from AMD of the new graphics cards, which we can expect to be available in December. Starting with the RX 7900 XTX then, which is the new flagship, you get a 96 integrated CUs. You also get a game clock of 2.3 gigahertz. Stream processor stands at 6,144. Memory, AMD is only using GDDR6, not GDDR6. GDDR6X here because it deems the latter to be too power hungry for the moment. Also 24 gigabytes for the RX 7900 XTX and 20 gigabytes for the RX 7900 XT. So slightly more for the flagship card. The memory interface also slightly higher for the 7900 XTX at 384 bits. Board power, quite interesting, 355 watts, so that's significantly less than the competition, and also less is the power connector requirements. We are looking at just two, two standard 8-pin power connectors, at least for the reference cards that AMD revealed today. Pricing, we are looking at $999 for the RX 7900 XTX, and that's a fair bit cheaper than both the RTX 4090 from NVIDIA and the RTX 4080, which we are expecting to hear about very soon. So moving on to the RX 7900 XT, slightly fewer CUs, a game clock 300 megahertz lower, slightly fewer stream processors, four gigabytes less GDDR, GDDR6 memory, a slightly narrower memory interface at 328 so 320 bits sorry board power stands at just 300 watts compared to 355 for the flagship still using two 8 pin power connectors but the price is $100 cheaper at $899 Something that AMD seemed to suggest during the announcement today was that the RX 7900 XTX was not going to be going up against NVIDIA's RTX 4090, both in terms of price and performance. It seems like AMD is gunning for the RTX 4080 here instead. So that may come as a disappointment to some, but given the high price and uh, niche appeal of the RTX 4090, it isn't surprising to see AMD gunning for a more popular price segment. Competition around the $1,000 mark then looks like it's going to be hotting up over the next few weeks. And the RX 7900 XTX at $1,000 does undercut the RTX 4080 from NVIDIA. So it's going to be very, very interesting to see how those two cards stack up, even though AMD doesn't seem to be gunning for the RTX 4090 at the moment. So more details to come. Don't forget to check out my other videos and also subscribe so you are notified when these cards land and we can hopefully take a much more detailed look at them. So thanks for listening and I will catch you soon.